For the sold out audience in attendance and the millions watching from around the world, let's get off our feet and put our hands together for the 2021 St. George's Geography Meet. to two. These two finalists will then compete in the championship round. Contestants have been informed of the rules already. However, contestants are eliminated after answering two questions incorrectly. I will begin each series of questions with the same student. After each student on stage has responded, those who gave their second incorrect answer will be excused from the stage. As a reminder, you will have 15 seconds to answer each question, and you must start to give your answer before that time limit is up. You can either have the question repeated or spelled one time in each round. You will not be penalized for inaccurate pronunciations or spelling so long as it can be determined that we knew what you were saying. GOB questions follow the National Geographic Society's policies recognizing Europe and Asia as two continents. Oceania is considered a region rather than a continent, and it will not be accepted as a correct answer. 
In addition, the National Geographic Society recognizes four oceans, Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific. Um, for those that are watching at home, you are already muted, but if you could also turn off your video so that we can focus on the contestants, that would be fantastic. Are we ready to get this party started? answer your question. You will have a different question for each person and we'll have 15 seconds to respond. Contestant number one, Simon, will you take those steps to the microphone, please? Your question is, Annapolis is the capital of which state that borders the Chesapeake Bay? Can you say it again? Yes. Annapolis is the capital of which state that borders the Chesapeake Bay? Missouri. That is incorrect. It is Maryland. Dexter, to the stage. Located on the Mississippi River, St. Paul is the capital of which state? Nebraska. That is incorrect. It is Minnesota. To the mark. Santa Fe is the capital of which state that borders Texas? New Mexico. That is correct. <laughs> Color? The city of Raleigh, sometimes called the city of oaks due to its many oak trees, is the capital of which state that borders the Atlantic Ocean? New Hampshire? That is incorrect. It is North Carolina. Energy. Des Moines is the capital of which state that borders the Missouri River? Illinois. That is incorrect. The answer is Iowa. Which state that is largely covered by the Rocky Mountains has Boise as its capital? Idaho. That is correct. <laughs> Matthew L., you can just stay right there for this question. <laughs> Columbus is the capital of which state that borders Lake Erie? That is correct. Colton. Located near the Green Mountains, Montpellier is the capital of which state? Vermont. That is correct. Ian Reichel. Known for having the world's largest outdoor rodeo, the city of Cheyenne is the capital of which state that borders Montana? Wyoming. That is correct. Seven. Last question of round one goes to you. Located on the edge of the Ozark Plateau, Jefferson City is the capital of which state? Missouri. That is correct. Okay. For round two, we'll take a break. Let's turn that down. All right. Round two, you will need that whiteboard underneath your chairs. All of you will respond to the next question by writing an answer on the paper provided for you, or the whiteboard. You will have 15 seconds to write your answer. When I call time, put down your markers and hold up your answers. 
When I call on you, please read your answer aloud. You will not be penalized for inaccurate pronunciations or spellings, so long as it can be determined that you know the correct answer. I will give the correct answer after all answers have been given. Please keep your answers visible until the scorekeeper has recorded the scores. I will read this question twice, so you may not ask for another repeat. The question is, Sesphorus Mountains, the highest point in South Carolina, lies in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which are a segment of what major mountain system? Sassafras Mountain, the highest point in South Carolina, lies in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which are a segment of what major mountain system? All right, when I call your name, show me your board. Simon. Dexter. Andrew, showed up. Colin, Ian, Gemma, Matthew L, Colton, Ian Reichel. And seven. The answer was the Appalachian Mountains. So congrats to those who got that correct. All right, with that being said, would everybody give a huge round of applause for some of our finalists that are going to be leaving the stage here? Dexter, Colin, great job. The next set of questions, you don't need your whiteboard anymore. The next set of questions is about the world and will require an oral answer. So you'll once again come up to the mic. Please make sure you're speaking clearly into the microphone. Simon, we will start with you. To shop in the Ginza district in Tokyo, once the site of a silver coin mint, you would travel to which Asian country? Japan. Japan is correct. Okay, make sure we're speaking to the mic. Andrew. The birthplace of revolutionary figure Simone Bolivar is located in Caracas, in which South American country? Can you please repeat the question? I'd love to. The birthplace of revolutionary figure Simone Bolivar is located in Caracas, in which South American country? Venezuela. That is correct. <laughs> Ian Risby. To visit Bucharest Palace of Parliament and to see the Transylvanian Alps, you would travel to what country? Uh, Albania? It is Romania. Romania. Gemma. Which African country has Cape Town as its legislative capital and Pretoria as its administrative capital? South Africa. That is correct. <laughs> Matthew L. Three excavated ships from the 9th century are displayed in the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo, in which European country? Norway. That is correct. Fulton. Constructed? <laughs> Told you he reigns over the competition. Constructed during the reign of Ivan the Terrible, St. Basile's Cathedral is located in Moscow, in which country? Russia. That is correct. <laughs> in Reiko. <laughs> 
To admire Spanish colonial architecture in the city of Lima, which was founded by Francisco Pizarro, you would travel to which South American country that borders the Pacific Ocean? Peru. That is correct. Seven. To take a rainforest tour and to dance at Rio de Janeiro's carnival celebration, you would travel to which South American country? Brazil. That is correct. Give a big hand for Ian Rizvi. All right, for this next question, you will need that clipboard that is underneath your chair, as well as the pencil that is next to it. The next question is called a GOB impact challenge question, and it's designed to test your critical thinking skills and your ability to apply geographic knowledge to real world scenarios. There is a handout on the map under your chair. We will project the question up on the board once I ask it, and you will have 30 seconds to circle the answer on your handout. Matthew L., you will write it on your whiteboard. The question is, this map represents a fictional town in the United States called Geoville. The town would like to establish a community garden to help provide fresh fruits and vegetables to its residents. There are four possible locations identified on the map. A, B, C, and D. Which location would be the best site for the community garden? Go ahead and say it out loud as well. So Simon? Andrew? Gemma? Matthew L? Location C. Colton? Ian Reichel? Sally? The answer was location C. It's a great job. And everybody give a big round of applause to Andrew. Great job, Andrew. All right, for the remaining questions, we will go round by round. We will give oral answers up at the microphone. And if you want, actually, you'll be fine right here. All right, so first student is Simon. Come on up. Which continent in the Southern Hemisphere experiences severe winds and is also the driest continent in the world? Antarctica. That is correct. <laughs> Gemma. The Puerto Rico Trench is the deepest part of which ocean? The Atlantic. That is correct. Matthew L. The laughing kookaburra bird is native to the eucalyptus forest in the eastern part of which continent that includes the Great Dividing Range? North America. That is incorrect. It is Australia. A region that includes the island countries of Samoa and Tonga is located in what ocean? The Pacific. That is correct. Ian Reichel. Welcome back. The Balkan Peninsula is part of which continent that borders the Mediterranean Sea? Ah, uh, um, is it Europe? It is! <laughs> 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 
Kathmandu Valley and the Elephanta Caves are world heritage sites located on which continent? Asia. That is correct. <laughs> Next round, Simon. The Strait of Malacca links the South China Sea with which ocean to the west? Can you say that again? Yeah, the Strait of Malacca links the South China Sea with which ocean to the west? The Indian Ocean? That is correct. Gentlemen. <laughs> the Parthenon is an ancient temple on the Acropolis, a hill overlooking which European capital city? Rome. That is incorrect. It is Athens. Athens. <laughs> Matthew L. Great Bear Lake is the largest lake entirely within what country? Can you repeat the question? Great Bear Lake is the largest lake entirely within what country? Canada. That is correct. <laughs> Which landlocked South American country is bordered by both Chile and Brazil? Argentina. That is incorrect, it is Bolivia. Ian Reiko. Are you ready? The island country of St. Lucia is located in the eastern part of what sea? Pacific? It is the Caribbean Sea. Disputes have existed for many years between Guatemala and what neighboring country that was formerly a British colony? Yeah. Border disputes have existed for many years between Guatemala and what neighboring country that was formerly a British colony? Mexico? It is Belize. Belize. Please give a big round of applause for Colton and Gemma. Great work. And we will continue on to two finalists here. Simon, up to the mic. While it remains part of the Kingdom of Denmark, the majority of people on the island of uh, on the on an island northeast of Canada are Inuit. Name this large island. Can you repeat the question? While it remains part of the kingdom of Denmark, the majority of people on an island northeast of Canada are Inuit. Name this large island. Is it Greenland? That is correct. <laughs> Ian Reichel. The Western Ghats, which receive large amounts of rain between May and October, are located in which country? India. That is correct. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. Got you. Valparaiso, a seaport established by the Spanish in the 16th century, is located on what elongated country in South America? Chile. That is correct. <laughs> the rays of the sun on the national flag represent the eight provinces that once fought for what present day island country's independence from Spain? 
The rays of the sun on the national flag represent the eight provinces that once fought for what present-day island countries independence from Spain. It is the Philippines. Everybody give the Savvy our defending champion a huge round of applause. And then there were three. Sudden. You guys are crushing this. Citizens of which present day country stormed the Bastille in July 1789 to seize guns and gunpowder to help their revolution? Can you repeat the question? Citizens of which present day country stormed the Bastille in July 1789 to seize guns and gunpowder to help their revolution? Is it the US? It is France. France. Matthew L. Let's see here. The pampas, which is a grasslands for grazing, is an important is is important to the cattle raising industry in provinces like Cordoba and Santa Fe, in which South American country that borders Chile. Argentina? That is correct. Ian Reichel. <laughs> in 2005, the Cedar Revolution took place in Beirut, the capital of which country that is famous for its cedar trees? That is correct. Please give a huge round of applause for Simon, our third place finisher. Give your hand for our two finalists. All right. Our two finalists will now compete in the championship round. You will be competing with a clean slate, meaning you have no misses. The championship round consists of three questions, and I will ask both of you the same question at the same time. You will have 15 seconds to write your answers, and when I call time, you will put down your markers and hold them up. Then I will ask each of you in turn to read your answer out loud. I will wait to give the correct answer until both answers have been read, Whoever correctly answers the most questions in the set of three will be our school champion. As before, you will not be penalized for inaccurate pronunciations or spellings as long as we can figure it out. If there's a tie after the three questions, I will explain the tie-breaking procedure. Are you ready? Yes, very much so. Matthew Allen, are you ready? Sure. Love it. I can feel the excitement. <laughs> Question one. Saginaw Bay, a popular summer tourist destination in the state of Michigan, is an inlet of which lake? Saginaw Bay, a popular summer tourist destination in the state of Michigan, is an inlet of which lake? You have 15 seconds. the start of the Alpine World Ski Championships. This competition will be held in the boot country that has more volcanoes than any other country in continental Europe. 
In February 2021, it marks the start of the Alpine World Ski Championships. This competition will be held in the boot country that has more volcanoes than any other country in continental Europe. All right, go ahead and hold up your boards. Ian Reichel, go ahead and show the crowd, show the audience, everybody. What did you answer? Maybe you can't, you can't read that, it says Italy. Italy, and Matthew Allen? Italy. That is correct. <laughs> Question number three. National Geographic Explorer, Ricardo Moreno, studies jaguars, and human jaguar conflict in places like Darien National Park, the largest national park in which Central American country. Once again, National Geographic Explorer Ricardo Moreno studies jaguars and human jaguar conflict in places like Darien National Park, the largest national park in which Central American country. All right, go ahead and show your boards. Ian Reichel, what did you answer? Belize. Belize? Yeah. Matthew Longstreth? Honduras. The answer is Panama. Panama was our answer there, which means we will go into the tiebreaker. Boom, boom, boom. Once again, I will be asking you both the same question. You will be writing on your whiteboards. I will be giving you 15 seconds. I will read each question twice. It's a single elimination procedure, meaning the next wrong answer, if the other one gets it correct, will decide our school champion. So the first tiebreaker question. What city in France on the Riviera is home to the world famous International Film Festival? that takes place in the Palace des Festivals. What city in France, on the Riviera, is home to the world famous International Film Festival that takes place in the Palace des Festivals? All right, go ahead and show us and say your answer. What do you get? What's your answer? Uh, Paris. Paris. Paris is his answer. Matthew L. Paris. The answer is Cannes or Cannes. So we will keep moving on. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Question is: Bordered by Nigeria to the northwest, which country on the Atlantic Ocean is just south? of Lake Chad. Bordered by Nigeria to the northwest, which country on the Atlantic Ocean is just south of Lake Chad? All right, let's see those boards. Ian Reichel, what's your answer? Country, not the right Niger. And Matthew L. Cameroon. Cameroon is correct. Matthew L. Congratulations. You are 2021 St. George's School champion. Please also give a huge round of applause for our second place finisher, Ian Reichel. This is by far the longest the competition has ever gone on in my year. So to all of our contestants, that was pretty awesome. So congratulations to all of you for being out here. And thank you very much. You guys can all have a good night.